الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد my dear brothers and sisters السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته and welcome to a new series that I will be conducting every Friday night بإذن الله تعالى on lessons and principles from the lives of the prophets as they are mentioned in the Quran. This week we will be talking about Musa alayhi salam and how we can bring about positive change with three important principles. Let's start off with number one, which is the importance of making dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and not being afraid of the impediments and challenges that may come our way. So we start off with Surah Taha verse 25. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, قَالَ رَبِّ شْرَحْ لِي صَدْرِي وَيَسِرْ لِي أَمْرِي وَحْلُ الْعُقْدَةً مِنْ لِسَانِ يَفْقَهُ قَوْلِي That Musa alayhi salam, he calls out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and saying, Oh Allah, expand for me my chest, make easy for me my affairs, loosen the knots from my tongue so that they may understand what I'm saying. So let's understand the context. Musa alayhi salam has been sent to the most tyrannical ruler of his time and perhaps all of humanity and that is Fir'aun. And he has this daunting task of conveying the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to him. Now Musa alayhi salam is already afraid because of the reputation that Fir'aun has of being this mean, aggressive, killing, tyrannical ruler. So there's that natural element of fear. Then there's also this fear of what if he is not able to convey the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he asks for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's help by saying that, Oh Allah, expand for me my chest. Grant me the bravery and the courage that I need and the ability to do the deed that you want me to do. And then he asks Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for ease. And this is something that should be noted that as believers, there's nothing wrong with asking for ease. In fact, this is something we should should be doing that when we embark upon a task, ask for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for ease. And here comes the big challenge. Musa alayhi salam, he had a speech impediment and he was carrying this burden that what if people make fun of me? What if they don't understand what I'm saying? And he seeks help from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for this specific impediment. So after generally asking for ease, he asks for help in this particular uh, action, which is to loosen the knots from his tongue so that they can understand what he's saying and also not make fun of Musa alayhi salam due to this speech impediment. And this teaches us a very valuable lesson that when we're trying to make positive change in society, there may be impediments and there may be fears involved, but start off by making dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and asking for ease and asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help you overcome those impediments and list them specifically if you are able to. And here comes principle number two. Positive change in society does not come by the way of one individual alone. So if you look at the following verses right after this, what does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say about Musa alayhi salam? He continues to make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He goes on to say, وَجَعَلِّي وَزِيرًا مِّنْ أَهْلِي هَارُونَ أَخِي أُشْدُدْ بِهِ أَزْرِي وَأَشْرِكْهُ فِي أَمْرِي كَيْ نُسَبِّحَكَ كَثِيرًا وَنَذْكُرُكَ كَثِيرًا إِنَّكَ كُنْتَ بِنَا بصيرة. Now, let's look at the translation. So Musa alayhi salam, he continues to make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he says, O oh Allah, grant me from my family someone that will help me. And he calls for his uh, brother Harun. And uh, brother over here is not a, a literal brother. It is a figurative brother. So that you may grant me strength through him. And this teaches us that when we're trying to do something, we need to help one another and strengthen one another. And when you're by yourself, you can feel alone and you can feel weak. So when you have two people or more, you can strengthen the feeling uh, and the, the mutual uh, bond amongst one another to encourage one another and not feel that moral weakness, but rather you feel moral strength. Ushdud bihi azri. Strengthen me through him wa ashriku fi amri and let him share in my task so that I'm not alone. And you're never alone in any of the tasks that you do. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is there with you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will provide for you those who you need. So if you think that there's a particular person that you need to help you in your task and in help change society, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide that person to you to help them share in your task. And this is perhaps one of the most important things that the main goal has to be increasing in the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that, oh Allah, we may glorify you and we may remember you much. 
So the goal of people coming together, their intentions should be pure. It shouldn't be for the sake of money. It shouldn't be for the sake of fame. It shouldn't be for the sake of power. It shouldn't be for the sake of reputation. But it should be for the sake of remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by doing the right thing. So as Muslims, when we try to bring about positive change in society, it is for the sake because it is a good deed that is beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And principle number three, and the last one that I want to share with you today, is that when you're interacting with other people, you have to make sure that you're gentle and you speak in such a way and with such a demeanor that they're wanting to understand you. Not by feeling repelled by you or feeling afraid of you or feeling angered by you, that you want to be gentle, calm and welcoming. And this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds him in verse number 44, also in Surah Taha, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds both Musa and Harun, فَقُولَ لَهُ كَوْلًا لَيِّنًا لَعَلَّهُ يَتَذَكَّرُ أَوْ يَخْشَى That when you go to Fir'aun, be very, very mindful of the way that you speak to him. Speak a very gentle, you know, calm way to him. Perhaps that he may remember or he may be fearful of my punishment. And subhanAllah, look at the etiquette that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shows us over here. That Fir'aun is this tyrannical ruler. He knows what he's doing. Yet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala still shows us the importance of in the initial contact of giving people the benefit of the doubt. That perhaps he's forgotten and he just needs to be reminded. That perhaps he's forgotten and he just needs to be reminded. Or in another case, then at the very least, that when you tell him and convey my message, he will remember my punishment and will refrain from doing bad deeds. So this is a very powerful lesson that when you engage with people, make sure it's in a nice and welcoming way. Yes, there are times to utilize your frustration and your anger and channel it into positive energy. But when you're trying to engage with people, always start off with a calm demeanor, a welcoming demeanor, a gentle demeanor, so that they want to hear what you are saying and they do not feel threatened by what you are saying or by your presence. Carry that smile nice and big, be calm and composed and articulate what you have to say with the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So these are three wonderful, beautiful lessons from the story of Musa alayhi salam in Surah Taha about how to bring positive change in society. Number one, make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he makes things easy for you specifically and generally. Number two, seek the appropriate help after Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala of community members, of family, of friends, of anyone else that you think that can help you in this cause. Make dua that Allah guides them to it and then ask them for their help. And the main goal is to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to do the right thing. That when we do positive change, it is for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because it is a good deed. And then last but not least, when you're engaging and interacting with people, always do it in a nice, gentle, calm way. Make your presence very welcoming and not one that is repelling. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us tawfiq. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us instruments of positive change in our communities. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the help and support that we need to make about that positive change. Surely this is a time where Muslims can and should be at the forefront of making positive change because this is what our deen guides us to. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us tawfiq, protect us and forgive us for our sins and shortcomings. Allahumma ameen. I'll see you next week. Bi'idhnillahi ta'ala. Jazakumullah khairan for listening in today. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk.